Hi. Ministry of Education and Science of Ukraine, National University of Trade and Economics. Please. Good morning, Raisa Stepanivna. Good morning, Berezovska. I brought you an application. Will you pass it on to the dean, please? Come on, what do you got there? Yeah, why suddenly? The last year is still left. Yes, but I just have a boyfriend. Are you getting married? <laughs> Not yet. But I want to work and study at the same time. I have to make it somehow. Will you pass it on? I see. So, your fiancé is not an oligarch. I will pass it on, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, Berezovska. Oh, yes. Basket for Happiness, Episode 1 Attention, we invite you to take part in the promotion. Our store always offers only quality products. Only here you can find the freshest products. If you find fresher ones, we will refund your money. A big company means big opportunities. We invite you to work as a sales assistant, cashier of the trading floor, fish processor, picker, receiver, loader. We offer. I'm only five minutes late, Zana Viktorovna. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I know these five minutes. Nastia, who are you telling? So, you can forget about the bonus, and if it happens again, you'll be fired. I've warned you, you're free to go. Excuse me? What's your question? I read in it about a job there. Can you hear well? You're free. Do you have any work experience? Actually, no, but I'm easily trained. And I can be a seller or a cashier. You all say that, but why did you come to us? I liked your name, Basket for Happiness. Yes, the title is promising. By the way, it's my idea. Well, sit down, tell me about yourself. Car showroom. This car is a five year old, but the mileage is only 60,000. Never beaten, kept in a warm garage. A very nice horse. The interior is leather clean. The audio system is just great. Well, I see. Multi wheel. Hi. What are you doing here? Sorry, customers, I can't. Do you like it? Want it? Or should I show you something else? There's no need to, there's a lot to think about. Uh, we will be very pleased to see you again in our salon. Thank you. I spent two hours flattering this asshole. He'll be thinking. Why did you come? And I have good news. I have a job. Wait, what about the university? I transferred to a distance education program anyway, so we will have another salary in our budget. Isn't it a good thing? No, no one is saying it's bad. It's just that we haven't discussed it. But if you've decided so. Yes, I have decided. Okay. Sri, I can start tomorrow. Supermarket basket for happiness. Well? Yeah, a sales assistant. That's for now. Once I get my diploma, we'll see. Okay. And the car is really cool. Yes, I don't understand him at all, to be honest. May I sit down? Okay. <laughs> Will we also have a similar one someday? We'll see. Oh. Watch your way, you idiot. I'm sorry. Do you know how much this suit costs? Zenka? Kachunina, hi. Boria. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
Savitsky. It's okay, really. How long haven't we seen each other? Hey, I don't remember. And I remember, from the graduation party. Yeah. And I asked our guys about you, and they didn't say anything. I just went to London. I studied at a business school there. London. How cool. Listen. Uh, for that case. Uh, treat your former classmate to coffee. Sure. You have already. Let's throw it away. Let's go. I'm sorry again. I'm used to the bicycle lanes almost everywhere in London. Well, I'm sorry. Nothing is wrong with you. Just buy me a new suit. It's tough. Come on, I'm kidding. Better tell me how it is in London. In London? It's raining. Have you seen any of our guys? Yes, Iris Samokina. Do you remember? She gave birth to her third child. Wow, that's great. Yes, Mishko Jansen. He became an assistant to the deputy. Who would have thought? Kuzovkov. Kuzovkov married a model. Imagine that. Really? Yes. And you? Haven't engaged yet. And I? I'm not in a hurry with this matter. And that's right. I also believe that career is the most important thing, right? Something like that. Sure, what do you do, Shuza? Oh. Uh, and Zuza is now the HR director at her father's company. Wow. He recently opened a supermarket. We're going to expand. Cool. Hey, Zavitsky. Did you find a job? I haven't found one yet, but I have a few offers, so I am thinking. So come to us. We need intelligent and decent people like you. What makes you think I'm intelligent and decent? No, really. I've been looking for a commercial director for six months. I can't find a proper one. Let's go right now. It's not far away. I'll introduce you to my dad. He solves issues like this. Well, you must remember him. I do remember, but why right now? No need to hold on. It is just... You look encamped. The main thing is here. Basket for happiness. Aha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, so you graduated from business school. In London, Dad, can you imagine how cool it is? Boria will bring his diploma tomorrow. This is good, Boris. Petrovich. Petrovich. Boris. Do you know retail business? Boris Petrovich. Purchase, sales, logistics. I can't say that I'm a pro in retail technology, but it would be interesting for me to understand. The basic laws of business are always the same, right? I think that I can quickly learn your specifics. Self-confident. But it's good. You see, boys Petrovic. Our company has recently had serious problems. Sales are down and so are profits. In short, We've changed more than one commercial director, but it's not the point. No, of course, we had experienced people, but all of them had no charisma or what? No flavor, so to say. Yes. I see. So do you like flavor? I like extraordinary people. Are you that type? It is not for me to judge. How <laughs> so take a chance? How will you do it? But for a trial period? Of course for now. Let's try. But what are the conditions? That's it. <laughs> and this is a serious conversation. Yeah. 
Everything is going very well. I've only been hired as a salesperson so far, but the HR director, when she found out that I was graduating from the trade and economic department, that that I could be a department head or administrator in the future. Well, let's drink for our wishes to come true. Yes. Sari? Am I doing well? Of course. You're doing well, really great. When are we going to submit the application? Liquor, what application? Can't we just go and register and that's it? I don't want us to just register. I want us to have the perfect wedding with fireworks, a goddamn limo. Chinese lanterns. We will earn money for it and will apply right away. Are you waiting for someone? Hello? Hello, and who are you, girl? What's the matter? If you're from the owner, we don't hold up the rent. Oh, sir, he... I need exactly you. I'm exhausted. I don't understand anything. Who is this woman? His former mother-in-law. I brought him his son. And you have a good life. Urka went abroad with some Arab and left me with the child. Father got himself a new girlfriend. And me, grandmother, have to raise him. And I'm in poor health. My blood pressure is jumping. I'm going to die soon. So until Urka comes back, take him. Wait a minute. What do you mean, take him? The court gave the child to his mother. All questions are for your Irene. We are now complete strangers. We're officially divorced. Sorry. Is he your son? And who's else? Read this. Artem Serhayovic Meltsov. Why didn't you tell me anything? You guys figure out who told what to whom. And I'm leaving. The things are here. The documents are there. That's it. Oh, God. You're my darling, my boy. You... Please forgive me. <laughs> Obey your father and this one. I don't know who... I'm off. I have to be. Let's go. Do you remember our graduation party? We danced all night long, we even saw the sunrise. Yes. You went to see me home, I rubbed my legs so badly. And you didn't want to go to the graduation. By the way, it was me who dragged you out, remember? I remember, you almost dragged me by the hand, yeah. Will you go to work by yourself now, or do you need help again? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Yeah. How a chance meeting can turn your life upside down so easily, how? Aha, uh -huh, things happen. Listen. Your dad is a good guy. I just don't remember him at all. My mom mostly took care of me. She went to parent meetings and talked to teachers. But three years ago, she died. Sorry. I remember your mom. Such a spirited woman. And dad was constantly working. First in the ministry, then in this business. He arranged it for me. Yeah. I graduated from the philology department, the faculty of brides. Okay. Yeah. I'm very happy that you've joined us. 
Welcome to the happiness basket. Who knows? Maybe you will find your happiness too. Maybe I will. <laughs> Go to sleep. It's late. What's your name? My name is Angelica. You can just call me Lika. You close your eyes and I'll go talk to your dad. My mom said he didn't love me. Will you love me? Of course. Want me to tell you a secret? Tell me if you want. My tooth fell out today. And if you put it under your pillow, tomorrow there will be candy instead. The tooth fairy will bring it. Just don't tell anyone. Promise. I promise. Okay. I'll share some candy with you. I'm not stingy. Do you like candy? I do sleep. Lika, you knew I was married. I didn't hide it. Yes, I knew. But you didn't tell me that you had a son. You said that children are a big responsibility and you're not ready for it. But I doubt that he is my son. That's why I didn't tell you. I still pay alimony, honestly, despite the fact that we divorced because she had betrayed me. Believe me, there is a reason to have doubts. It's easy to check now. It's called a DNA test. I will do that. She found me, you see. Three? This boy thinks you are his father and that you don't love him. How will we sleep now? I'll make you a bed on the sofa. Come in. Boria, breakfast is served. Hurry up, it's getting cold. Mommy, you shouldn't have worried. I'm used to taking care of myself. By the way, I want to rent an apartment. I'm already a big boy. You will always remain a little darling boy for your mom. I always knew that you would achieve a lot in life. Mom, I haven't achieved anything yet. You've become a big boss now. Boria, are you going to go to work like this? Of course, Mom. You know that in the advanced society people dress comfortably in summer. Yes, by the way, I'm going to work on my scooter. Don't be stupid. Your subordinates will be looking at you, so you should wear a jacket and tie, Boria. Ah, uh, yeah, I won't even think about it. Okay, Mom, have a nice day. Well, well, Boria. Mom. Boria. Sari, maybe you could take off work today. You can't leave the child alone at home. I can't. You're on vacation. So you stay. What vacation? Hey, I got a job. Today is my first day at work. Imagine I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't know. 
Let's flip a coin. Are you serious? How else could we resolve this dispute? Heads, I stay tails, you. It is fair. I am off. Sorry? Bye, honey. Well, wait, well. I am off. Do you go to the preschool? It's a pity. They say it's fun and interesting there, and a lot of kids. Let's go there. I would love to, but it won't work. There are lots of documents to fill out, various forms. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll have to take you with me. Hooray, where to? Where, where to work? Only on one condition. No running, no pampering, and be inside all the time. Got it? Good boy. This is for you from the Tooth Fairy. Delicious. Taste it. From the real Tooth Fairy. Thanks. What are you doing, asshole? You want us to get another five. Can I help you guys? Where to carry? To the store. Are you a new guy instead of semen? Then unload it yourself, be quick. Yeah, and take off Semen's uniform from the nail. Because our walk is dusty. Make sure you don't stain your shirt. Why are you staring? Learn while I'm still alive. Attention, attention. So... Basket for Happiness Supermarket. This is your department. Do you know about dairy? Yes, sure. You will certainly be watching for the first few days. Study the labels, where the fat content is, where it's organic, where it's lactose-free, so that you have a prepared answer to any question from customers. Are you listening? Yes, sure, very carefully. A prepared answer to any question. Yes, and all this with a nice radiant smile. Boy, please don't interfere. Go to your mom. She must be looking for you. Is that clear? Yes. Great. Then get to work. Good luck. Thanks. The freshest food here. Artem. If you find fresher. Attention, attention. Good morning. Finally, do you English people normally come to work at lunchtime? Do you have lunch at 10 a.m.? It's metaphorical. Yeah. Watch out, don't spill coffee on me again. Come to my office, I'll treat you too. With pleasure. Great. So, Borea, the first days are introductory, then we'll walk around the office, go out into the floor, I'll show you everything, introduce you to the team. Okay, actually, I have a different idea for today, please. Attention, attention. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. What's the production date? The 23rd. What's the fat content? It says here, 15%. And who is the manufacturer? Is it a good quality product? Yes, just a second. I'll find out now. Well, excuse me. Have you seen a boy here? Not tall, with a short haircut and a checkered shirt, blue eyes. Calm down, we'll soon find your boy. You look over there. I'll go over there. Artem. Isn't that your boy? No, it's a girl. Isn't that your boy? 
Artem, I asked you not to leave and to be in my sight all the time. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for distracting you from your work. You didn't distract me. It's my first day at work. Really? Same here. Promise me you won't go anywhere else. It's just that there are so many beautiful construction sets and cars here. I've never seen anything like them. Will you buy me some? I don't have money yet. Thank you again. You're welcome. How long will I be waiting for you? Yes, sure, let's go. Sweet week. Buy a kilo of candies with raisins and get the second kilo as a gift. Our store constantly controls the quality of goods. <laughs> You're amazing, boy. I would never have thought of that. Victor Fryhorovic, this is not my idea. This experience has been used abroad for a long time. It is called an undercover chef, a secret boss. How do you say? Undercover? I decided to feel what your store is like, if you don't mind, of course. No, I don't mind. It's even interesting. What can be interesting here? Everyone should do their own job. It's all just kids stuff. Oria, this is not serious. Zana, that's not true. No one in your supermarket knows me. Everyone will be frank with me. I will be able to understand what the team is not happy with. Why there is such a turnover of staff. I will dive into the world of human consumption, so to say. Yeah, well done, well done, boys. Petrovic, that's all very creative. How much longer are you going to dive? I think I'll be back soon. Will you give me a week? Let it be good. Thank you. <laughs> Interesting guy. But not at the child's presence. Listen, maybe I should move out. Don't sleep here, don't take that. In fact, it's my football match today. I wanted to watch it. Sari, I'm nervous too. But what can we do? Tomorrow it's your turn to look after Artem. So you want me to take him to work? I did it. But I can't, I have already told you. The boss wants to open a new site in another neighborhood. He wants to make me a director. I can't take the risk and sorry, I don't want to. I can't do it either. I managed to hold out for one day, but now I definitely won't be able to do it again. Artem, wash your hands and go eat. Do you have this Iris contact? Call her, find out when she's coming back. Liquor, you heard her perfectly. She snuck off abroad with some asshole, but I have a five-year-old contact. Maybe she has a different one. Just call her. Is it hard for you? I've already washed. Well then, sit down. Okay, want some potatoes and a chop? I want everything. You're welcome. The subscriber can't and doesn't want to. Your mom is great. I can't even find the words. Stop it. So why stop, indeed? She abandoned her child and ran away. If she didn't need him, why give birth? Sorry? Who's going to feed him now? I'll feed him. Look at him. Are you happy? How is the child involved? What is his fault? Yes, he's an interesting guy, this Savitsky, smart, inventive. Thanks for recommending him. He will be great. He really will. Yes, I've liked Boreas since school. Oh boy, so it's an old love. What love, Dad? He only loved his books and paid no attention to girls. But it seems to me that he's grown up since then. Yes, yes, an independent man. But I don't think he'll stay with us for long. He'll do an internship, gain experience, and then someone will definitely lure him away. But I don't know what to get him interested in. Or who.
Dad. Why dad? Why dad? Why dad? Why did you scold him for all his ideas? Well. Why did you call it a kid stuff? Let the guy try it, you would support him somehow, praise him, give him advice. Yes, yes, men appreciate that. We will always have time to scold him. Aha, getting sweetie, let's go. Artem, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I was really scared. Do you want me to get an advance and buy you that car? No need. Nobody needs me, right? Neither mom nor dad. Nobody at all. What are you talking about? What do you mean, nobody? I need you. You are pretty and kind. Will you take me with you tomorrow? I will. Borya. Borya, leave it. I'll wash and clean it myself. Come here. Look what I found, huh? <laughs> Look at this. This is your fifth beer, right? Yes. Uh huh. How serious? And the look. Yes, too serious for that age. Wait, where's Sana? Here, the one with the braids, right? Yeah. Oh, how cute. Do you remember going to the graduation party together? Of course, I remember. I wonder what she looks like now. How? A regular. Two arms, two legs, mom. I'm, I'm going to do the dishes. Wait, do you know if she's married now? Mom, what kind of questions are these? I think she's a very good match. You've known each other for a long time. You work for her father's company. Have you said it all? Mom, aren't I enough for you? I just really want you to be happy. And I want it, so leave it to me. I'll go do the dishes. Yeah. Basket for happiness. In other markets, employees are delivered to their homes, or at least to the subway. And here, I live in the country, you know. By the time I get home, I'm dead. I tried to ask for a vacation yesterday. And? I tell that my child is on vacation. I want to take him to the sea to get healthier. Aha, Zinka stood her ground, saying, Your vacation is scheduled for February, no way. They say they lack staff, who would work here with such an attitude. Hi. Hi. Haven't you lost anyone today? No, he is painting in the storage room. I checked. Why don't you send him to preschool? This is a problem. And how do you like it here? I don't know yet. What about you? It's okay. The girls are friendly. However, they say that the salary is delayed. But I don't know. I haven't received it yet. Aha, uh Lika. -huh, yes. And your Boris. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is someone in the dairy? Yes. How can I help you? Attention. The Basket for Happiness announces a special offer. Hey, bro, where do you sell flowers here? I need some quick. There are flower pots at the end of the hall, but no fresh flowers. Damn, then why did you call yourself a basket for happiness? There are no basic things. Well, where are the flower pots? At the end of the hall, I'll walk you there. Hi, lad. Hello. 
Oh, here's a vitamin. Thank you. Look what I've drawn. Wow. How old are you, huh? I'm a big boy. I'm six. Six? That's an age, yes. Will you give me a ride on your scooter? Of course. Of course, I will. Hooray, and when? What is this? Why is the child in the staff room? Boy, whose are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm talking to this young man. Come with me and show me who you came with. Wait, Zana, I know who he came with. Maybe the sales girl has some problems. She took her child to work with her. What's the harm? All problems should be left at home. Come on, boy. Your child? Yes. It's the first and last time I see him here. Is that clear? It's clear. It won't happen again. It's a hopeless situation. And I... What's your last name again? Berezovska. Minus 10% of the bonus. Maybe we shouldn't take such harsh measures, Zana Viktorovna. We don't have a lawyer in our company, Boris Petrovic. Artem. My dear, don't be upset. You are not guilty of anything. Knock, knock. Will I be disturbing you? No, of course. Come in, sit down. So, have you finished your experiment tour of the sales area? For today, yes. Great. Listen. Uh, maybe we should go out. Let's party. There are so many cool places that have opened up now. Uh, I'm a couch potato by nature, to be honest. I don't like to go out. Okay. Let's go to my place. I've recently remodeled my home. You'll see how I live. Yeah, yes. I'll definitely have a look at the renovation, but some other time. Zana, I have a question. Don't you think you're being too harsh on your staff? No. I don't think so. You have to keep them in shape. Otherwise, they will get on your head and won't get off. You don't know our people well. They just want to get money and do nothing. But there are different ways to keep someone in shape. You can praise or help. For example, that saleswoman, Lika, I think you were very harsh with her. You made the girl cry. What do you care about her? Crying is known to purify the body. So crying is even healthy. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Then have a nice evening. Well, bye. It doesn't even fasten. What am I to do with this? Come on, take it off. What kind of clothes are these from three years ago? Everything is small. Did you take a day off? Yes, they let me take a day off. Super great. Maybe you can go to the zoo with him. Do you want to go to the zoo? Visit a preschool afterwards. Ask if there are any options. Maybe you'll be lucky. Artem, will you stay with your dad today? I'm off, uh, sorry. You'll get your salary in a week. We need to buy clothes for the boy. Okay, everything is too small. What is a day off? I've never been to the zoo. Are there elephants? I don't know. Keep up. Elephants live in Africa, right? It's very hot there. Is there a giraffe with a long neck? And why does a giraffe have a long neck? To see better, right? Listen, can you please be quiet? Let's go. Oh, 
I haven't heard from Erka since she left. At least she called once or wrote a letter. Where is she? What's going on with her? Absolutely. Oh God. Nothing but sadness with these children. You bring them up. You don't sleep nights. But you get no appreciation. Dad, you promised me a zoo hall. Good morning. Good morning. We will see whether it is good or bad. Why have you come? I have come to ask you, as a retired person with a lot of free time, to devote it at least partially to your own grandson. I have to go to work now. I explained to you last time that I don't have the strength to cope with him. My health is poor. Now it's your turn. I see it is no use to appeal to conscience. Let him stay with you until the evening. Ah, uh, just look at him. What a father you have. What am I going to do with you? Let me feed you. Feed him, feed him. Here we are. That's what you need to drive, environmentally friendly transportation. By the way, this vehicle carries your commercial director. Yeah, well done, boy. Daddy, it's not respectable. Let's try to raise Boris a little for me, shall we? First of all, let's buy him a company car. Great idea, right? I'll handle it, okay? Wait, my dear, don't you think buying a car is too expensive to attract attention? Maybe there's a more economical way, eh? Daddy, we can get a slightly used one, not a new one. Trickster. Let's go. Hello, park the car, please. Darling, where do you sell happiness here? Excuse me? What is unclear here? The door says basket for happiness. I took the basket, but where to look for happiness? In which section? Well, everyone needs different things to be happy. Isn't it true? That's right, darling. I'm just kidding. Look me up some fresh kefir because I can't see properly. Now, here, take it. Thank you, sweetie. Be happy the way you want it. Thank you. And you be healthy. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Alone today? Yeah. Yesterday I was scolded. And you too, for no reason at all. It's okay, I'll get over it. Who did you leave Artem with? Artem? Oh. <laughs> Artem, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with your dad. He took me to my grandma's house. Sizmin, I came to you. You told me you needed me. Okay, good. <laughs> Sir, he, where are you? I work. Where else can I be? You took the day off, or did you lie to me? Do you really have a conscience? Artem is with me. He ran away from his grandma. What if he had been hit by a car? Liko, what do you want from me? Do you realize that if he is seen here again, I could be fired from my job? I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm with a client. I'm bad, ho. No, dear. You're good. You are very good. Hello, buddy. Any problems? I have nowhere to go. Okay, what to do? I'll have to quit. Wow, I worked for two days. 
Okay, Artem, stay here, please. Wait for me. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be back soon. Will you look after him? Sure. Artem, Artem, what to do with you? Well. Excuse me, can you stay with the child just for a few minutes? Artem, stay here, you hear me. Basket for Happiness, Episode 2. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. My pleasure. Looking for a particular model for yourself, for someone else? Depends. Actually, I'm looking for something for the office. Something decent, presentable, but not too expensive, not too old, but this is obvious. I see price, quality ratio. You've come to the right place. Let's do this. I'll show you the best of what we have and arrange a test drive of the cars you like. Are you in a hurry? Actually, no. This is great. Purchasing a car is not something to be rushed. You need to think it over, weigh the pros and cons. You are a very knowledgeable person. Sergei Mikhailovich. Zana Viktorovna. I'm glad to meet such a charming girl. For now, you can sit there, we'll get you some coffee. And then we can start the review. Do you know where Zana Viktorovna is? Zana Viktorovna is not here. I saw her leave. Will she be back today? I don't know. And you are determined? See, it was not meant to be. Do you believe in destiny? It's not that I believe, but I pay attention to certain signs. Listen, I have an idea. We can take Artem to my mom's house. She is retired, a former teacher. She's staying at home and bored. Well... Borya, are you crazy? Why would you want to do that? Hey, do you need this job? Well... Yes. I feel sorry for your son, too. What? Artem is not my son. Whose is he? Artem is my boyfriend's son. Or rather... Maybe not, he doesn't know yet. The boy just showed up unexpectedly two days ago. It seems to me that no one needs this child at all. The boy is very nice, kind, and shares candy with me. Hey, is this child a complete stranger to you? I don't believe in the concept of stranger children. Jeez. Yeah. Artem must be hungry. I'll go feed him. My mom will do it. Yes, that's it. Don't argue. Boris. That's it. You'll pick him up in the evening. Are you sure? Of course. Thank you so much. No problem. It's my lunch break. So what are your thoughts? The ride is smooth. The interior is comfortable. The design is just beautiful. Air suspension. Adaptive cruise control. The mileage is insignificant. 37,000 for this model is nothing. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But for some reason I believe you. Do you have music in the car? What a great car. That's what I'm talking about. We don't sell bad cars. Car showroom. So, do we take it? I still need to consult. With your husband? 
you guessed it wrong with my dad. Mm -hmm. How well in that case, I look forward to your positive decision, Sana Viktorovna. All right, Siri Mikhailovic. You can just call me Siri. Siri, I'll call you. See you soon. What a pretty baby. Yes, we're going to take a turn here. Aren't you afraid, Artem? No, I'm not afraid of anything. Good boy, I love such guys. Yes, are you holding on tight? Okay. Borya? Yeah. Oh my god. Borya, why aren't you at work? Are you sick? Not feeling well? No, I feel good thanks to the company of this young guy, mom. Meet Artem, Artem. This is my mom, Ala Yevanivna. Hello. Hello. Mom, can Artem stay with you until the evening? The company will be good for you. Um, Borya, come here for a second. Come here. Borya. Borya, tell me, where did you get the child? Maybe I missed something. Just tell me the truth, please. Mom, you're so funny. I'm not hiding anything from you. It's just a long time to explain. I have to go to work. Yes, come in, come in, mom. You feed him. Okay. Mommy won't eat you. I promise, I'm off. Well, young man. Go take off your shoes. We'll have some soup. What's your second course? <laughs> Dumplings, are you satisfied? Well, get ready. The vegetable milk is on this shelf. Among the more budget-friendly ones are buckwheat. There is coconut oil. It is, of course, more expensive, but it is very useful. It contains vitamins B12, D, including calcium. Lika, everything is fine. Don't worry. Thank you. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Let me go. Calm down. Let me go. Calm down. Don't yell. We need to do some shopping. Please, I'm asking you very much to calm your child down. I'm trying, don't you see? Calm down. My dear, what's wrong? I asked you not to touch anything. What's wrong with you today? Olinka, what? I can't buy anything today. I'm sorry. There's a line at the checkout. I will be waiting for half an hour. Wait. Come on, I'll help you. One moment, please. Dear customers, I'm begging you, let a woman with a small child pass. Please pass through. Thank you. My daughter can also start acting up out of nothing. Of course, these are kids. Thank you very much. And we keep doing our best for you. Visit our basket for happiness more often. Is it good? Hush, hush. Didn't your mom tell you that it's not nice to do that? No. Where is your mom? She went away. Where? And where is your dad? He probably went to work. Yeah. I see, I mean, I don't understand anything at all. Tell me, how old are you? I am six. Yeah, no way. You don't seem like it. 
Do you go to school? I don't go anywhere. Uh -huh. Can you read? No. Do you at least know the letters? Of course. Uh, and M. Too little for your age. Listen. We have so much time until tonight. Let's practice. Okay. Do you have any picture books? Well, I think I'll find one. <laughs> Where to go? You go wait on the couch over there. I'll be back in a moment. Thanks for the dumplings. You are welcome. You did well. You bravely managed the queue. I just asked, if you treat people kindly, they will do the same in return, isn't it true? Absolutely so, please. How can you imagine that? We're going to fall out. But it turns out you're a coward, unlike Artem. I am not a coward, okay? It's just... It's just that I haven't ridden a scooter for a long time. Zana. Well, let's go then. May God bless us. Come on. Thank you very much. You helped me a lot. Didn't Artem bother you too much? No problem. He's so smart. Such a clever boy. You just don't have to be lazy and work with him more. Mom, don't switch on the teacher. Of course. We will work. Do you work with Borya? Yes. Imagine we started working on the same day. He often helps me out. Oh, come on. Stop. And what do you do? I am a sales assistant. So Borya is your boss. Let me show you off. Artem, get up. Okay, that's it. Tell goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Watch out. Goodbye. Why did Ola Yevnevna call you my boss? It's a little strange. I didn't understand. Yes, my mom is just dreaming. Lika, I've learned the letters. Which ones? M and O. You're doing great. It's good that I have tomorrow off. At least I'll be able to study with him a little. Your mom's right. But why didn't she make you study so you could go to college? It's just, I don't know. You could enter, get a degree, study. Now there are both part-time and distance learning programs. Just study. I'll think about it. Lika. Yes. Can I play there? Go, go. Just don't be long because I have to cook dinner, okay? He's cute. <laughs> Hey, maybe you could come to us, to the Trade and Economics University. I'll help you to prepare for the tests. I've been studying there for four years and will soon get my degree. I want to work in marketing. I really like creating presentations and various promotions. I think it's my field. I think it's cool. Do you know what I would do first of all in the basket for happiness? Well, interesting. A playground? With an animator. Everyone would be happy. Parents would be able to quietly shop. Children would have fun. The market would make a lot more profit at this time. Great idea. Zana. Am I detaining you? No, I'm sorry, go on. You can also introduce promotions on certain days of the week and develop a loyalty system for regular customers. Arrange family events on weekends. Events are activities, like promotions. I realize that it's all trivial, but people will appreciate it. Everyone likes to be taken care of, right? 
Of course, great ideas. Did they teach you that at the institute? Once you enter, they will teach you too. Ah, well. Oh. Hi. Darling. Wow, the dog. Hello, Tamara Ivanovna. Hello, hello. Licker, will you buy me one? We will talk about this later. And who is the boy? He's Sarai's relative. He came to visit. You have a great man, a good-looking one. Nowadays, men are a hot commodity. I watched a program on TV today. Can you imagine? There are 8% fewer men than women. So you better take care of yours, don't miss him, watch out. Okay, I won't miss him. Thank you, let's go, Artem, goodbye. Goodbye, well, let's go for a walk, come on, come on. You don't want to, my dear, you don't want to. Come in, Artem. Where have you been? First of all, Suri, good evening. And secondly, it's not me. It's Artem and me, or have you forgotten about him? Huh, do you even have a conscience? The child was walking across the city alone. Fortunately, he didn't get lost and nothing happened to him. Listen, can we avoid scandals? It's better to be constructive. I found my ex on the net and wrote to her. Maybe she'll answer when she's going to come back. How long do we have to mess with this guy? Okay, and if she doesn't respond? If you're so busy, I'll go to the preschool tomorrow and fill out all the paperwork myself. For God's sake, if you have a lot of time. Why are you mocking me? Do you have any other ideas? Then go ahead and offer them. Damn it. What? Read. She responded. Meaning? So, so she's not going to come back? Never. Can you read? She got married in Egypt. She started a new life, you know? She's leaving me the boy stinker. I don't believe in all this, God. What's wrong? It's not my fault. It tore on its own. Oh, so it has just magically happened all by itself. Don't interrupt adults when they are talking. Sorry, what's wrong with you? What about me? What do you want me to do? Jumping for joy, kissing him tenderly. What? Artem, let's go. I'll sew up your pants. Is anyone going to feed me in this house tonight? Hello. Good evening. Come in. Is Boris at home? Yes, he is. Wait. You are Sonaka. Kachimina, do you remember me? Of course I remember. You and my Boria were the prettiest couple at the graduation party. Come in, come in. I couldn't stop admiring you then. Boria. Boria, come down. Someone's here to see you. Look who has come to visit us. Good evening. Hi. What happened? I'll make tea. I called you several times. You hung up? Boria, tell me, are you ignoring me? Zana Viktorovna, can you assume that I am busy? 
Who? This girl, the new saleswoman. What's her name? Ah, uh, Berezovska. I've seen you together. I also saw you riding her kid on a scooter. And so? The point is that I want to warn you once and for all. I will not tolerate any affairs with subordinates in my company. Is that clear? More than clear. Is that why you came? Can I be free? Borya. I'm sorry. Tea is ready. And I'll treat you to some delicious cherry jam. Thanks. But I don't eat after 6 p.m. Well, would you like tea with cherry jam? I would. Sana Victorovna, good evening. Oh, is that you? What an unexpected meeting. Are you alone here? Imagine that, yes. If you want, you can join me. With pleasure. I would like another drink. What do you drink? Whiskey. Whiskey, please. My treat. Thanks. Really, why did you have a holiday? Yeah. What about you? Did you sell all your cars? I hope you kept mine. No, yours is waiting for you. By the way, she's asking when you're coming to pick her up. Is that what she's asking? You're funny. <laughs> Cheers. A uh, Suri? Exactly. I remembered. Well, Suri. I'm going home. I have to go. Thank you. Bye. Yeah? Hum, I nearly fell. Maybe I can accompany you there. Oh, all right. Why not? I'll catch a cab in a moment. Where are you going? Home. I see. I think I drank too much. Let's walk. It's not far. Okay. Suri, you're a hero. You didn't leave a poor woman in trouble. You're not that poor, to be honest. That's right. But I didn't mean that. I see. Let's go. The subscriber's device is switched off or out of reach. How stupid I am. Why did I get so drunk? You are the most wonderful girl I have ever known. Really? But not everyone thinks so. Everyone thinks that Zuza is a moody daddy's daughter. Shiza, what a curious name, unusual. 
They just underestimate you, Shosenka. And you appreciated me, Sari. Mm -hmm. Aha, from the first moment. You, when you walked into the salon, I realized that I met the most beautiful, amazing girl in the world. Do you tell it to all your girls? You don't have to answer. I just said that. Oh, it's getting late. You have to go, buddy. But? I'll call you. Or maybe not. Anyway, forget what happened between us, okay? That's it. Go, Sir Heath. Go. Sri? Where have you been? I've called you a hundred times. Is your phone off? The battery is dead. Go to bed. Listen, please forgive me. I've been nervous lately, you know. The new job, Artem. Where were you so late? I was walking around thinking. And what did you think? I will take a paternity test. Tomorrow I will find out where... I am 99% sure that the boy is not mine. And then what? It depends on the result. Yes, I'm tired. I'm going to take a shower. Please make my bed. This is the first version of my proposals. So if you approve, I can move in this direction. Aha, uh -huh, so you're planning a website? I wonder why you don't have it yet. Online shopping has been in trend for a long time, but you'll need to buy several vans and hire couriers, that's it. That's a lot of extra money to spend. Yes, but it will all pay off, Zana, you should definitely make discount cards or loyalty cards. Your company should be customer-oriented, definitely. I see, interesting, interesting. Okay, what does the suspended product system mean? What's that? This is a social project. When people buy not only for themselves but also to help others, they buy a certain product, for example, food. They put it on a certain shelf, and those who need it come and take it for free. Goods for the poor. Dad, why do we need this? Wait, and here, here I see it. Yes, the kids' room. What does it have to do with us? This is another interesting idea, in my opinion. But again, it requires additional funds. There are more options down there, take a look. Yes, yes, I'll review it. Thank you, you can go. Aha, thank you. Gloria. Don't be offended. I really don't understand why we need to spend extra money. Zana, I'm not at the age to be offended. Fine, let's argue. Give me your reasons. We have a normal working relationship. Only working? Wait. Yesterday, I think you gave me a lecture about the unacceptability of affairs in the company, didn't you? But I meant with my subordinates. But I can do it with you, right? Boria, why are you behaving like this? What kind of affairs? We have so many common interests, plans, memories. We haven't seen each other for so long. Why don't we get to know each other better? And I want only the best for you. And believe me, I have a lot to give you. 
I am curious, what, for example? For example, I found a cool car for you. The commercial director is supposed to fulfill his status. Thank you, Zana Viktorovna, but I don't need a car. I have a great scooter. Where are you going? Are you going to control me? How did we try it on? It's a little big, but that's okay. You'll grow up. You're growing fast, right? Just wear it carefully, neatly. Do you even like it yourself? I do. Good. Where did you get the money? You said you didn't have any. I borrowed it from a neighbor, yes. What can I do? You can't go out in all your torn clothes, right? It's okay, Artem. We'll get through somehow. I don't know how yet. Though, come on, show yourself, look how handsome you are. Well, now we won't be ashamed to ask you to go to preschool. We'll work with you later. You'll start school in a year. Will you take me to school? I don't know. Will you buy me that car you promised? Look at you, you extortionist. First the dog, now the car. I'll buy it, of course, I'll just have to get my salary, okay, if someone gives it to me at all. Sana, are you going home? No, I still have work to do. Well, look at me. Are you waiting for boys? Come on, tell me how it is with him. Great. Just a business relationship. Well, not everything at once, darling. By the way, have you chosen a car for him? I'll send an order to the accounting department to pay for it right away. He doesn't need a car. His scooter is more valuable to him. It happens. You're not going home? No. Hey, why don't you come to my place? We'll order a pizza, watch a movie, as usual. No, Dad. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, and don't be nasty. Peep. Bye. Bye. Car showroom, Mouths of Surrey, Mikhailovic, manager. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Hello. Hi, the best woman in the world is speaking. Shasenka, it's great to hear you. What are your plans for tonight? Do you have any ideas? I have everything, come. If you still remember the address, in about an hour. And what flowers do you like? The best ones. It will be done. I'm on my way. Did you like the preschool? I did. You see, I told you it was great there. However, I don't understand why your grandmother didn't take you to preschool. Well, we'll make all the necessary papers and then you'll be accepted. Liko, what are you looking at? There's your dad. Look. Oh yes, with flowers. Wow, what a bouquet for you. I guess he decided to make it up. We had a fight yesterday, to be honest. Because of me? It doesn't matter. Do you love him? I do. And me? Of course I do. Let's go home so we can reach home before your dad. 
But it's our big secret that we saw him. Okay. Come in. I appreciate it. Hi, shoes up. Yes, I missed you. Sir he, sir he, wait. What about a foreplay? Damn it. Strange. You're tired of waiting, aren't you? I can see that. Well, let's have dinner by ourselves. Yes. I have a good idea. Let's go to bed. Carry me in your arms. Sure. Sorry, where have you been? I didn't sleep all night. I called all the hospitals. Why? Are you mocking me? Don't you want to explain anything to me? No. I don't have the least desire to while you're talking to me in that tone. Shusa. Thank you for the coffee in bed, dear. I loved it. We'll have to do it again. Hello, can you hear me? The connection's not good, sir. He, you forgot your phone charger. I'll bring it to your car showroom in the evening, if you don't mind. Hello. Thank you. Shuza, I think he doesn't mind. Borya. Do you know what I thought? Here you are. Thanks. Maybe you could invite Zana over for lunch, if dinner isn't on her world map. Mom. Borya. She's a good girl from a decent family. And something tells me she likes you a lot. Aha, uh -huh, mom, maybe that's enough. Borya, I'm talking right things. You have to think about your future life. You need a good wife. Well, to cook borscht and iron your shirt. Mommy doesn't live forever. And you think Zana is perfect for the role of a cook, right? Cook. Iron. I'd like to see that. Laugh, laugh at your mom. Maybe it is something else? I mean, the other one. I mean the girl who came to see us with her baby the other day. Do you like her? Just tell me that you do, and that's all. Mom, I'm fed up with these talks. Thank you for breakfast. Borya.
And where are you going, I wonder? Not where, but from where. Are you serious, Mao? Is it because I didn't spend the night at home? I was actually at work. We had a fire. I was driving cars from one parking lot to another all night. I was damn tired. You poor thing. Zuza helped you to drive it, didn't she? With four hands. What? Who's the Zaza? Maybe that's enough. The Shuza you left your charger with, by the way. She'll bring it back to you tonight, to the showroom that burned down last night. Did she like your flowers? Huh, it's a beautiful bouquet. You've never given me flowers like these. How do you know about this? You could have confessed that you had another woman that would at least be honest with me. Honest. You want honesty? Please, yes. I was with another woman. What's the big deal? It doesn't mean anything at all. It doesn't mean anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, well, I'm very sorry about your shoes, uh. I really am. Let her decide what to do, but I don't want to live with a traitor. Disgusting. Am I a traitor? Okay. It's your choice. I won't hold you back. Well, are we going somewhere? Licker is leaving, as you can see. What about me? Licker, what about me? Take me with you. Artem, where am I going to take you? I have no right. I'm no one to you. Not true. You're great. You're the best. Licker. Oh, take him away. For God's sake, I'll have more space. How come I never noticed what kind of person you are? What? Go on, continue. What? Bad, bad, bad. You are... Let him go, or I'll call the police. Are you okay? Are you okay? Liquor, don't leave me, please. Take me away from here. Where am I going to take you? I have nowhere to go myself. I used to live in a student's residence, but now I'm studying part-time. I'll take you to your grandmother's. Okay, you will show me where she lives, and I will visit you very often. No, I'll run away again. You need me. I can carry a suitcase. Let's go pack. Oh, aren't you tired? Do you want to eat something? Licker, where are we going? To work? Yes, to work with a suitcase. Imagine how happy they will be. Oh, I have an idea. Take me to that grandma you left me with yesterday. Her dumplings are delicious. Cool? Yes, cool. But it won't work, Artem. Let's do this. I have to start work at 2 today. For now, we'll settle down at the old place. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. Stay here. Watch the suitcase. Deal. Oh yes, here's a snack. You're hungry. I'm going on a mission. Quickly, back and forth. One minute. Basket for Happiness, Episode 3. What about the keys? Hello. What a people. Good morning, Aunt Falia. Do you recognize me? There is Alska, or what? Yes, it's me. How's your health? I don't even think about my health with you. One thing or another, my head is spinning. I thought you moved to an apartment. Yes, I did. I want to come back now. Do you have a spare room? You're kidding. Just give you a spare one. Don't you want to share it with the girls? 
There is a place in the 17, but there is no order for you. Go to the dean's office, get a paper, bring it to me, and I'll settle you in. Liquor, how much longer do I have to wait? Who is this guy? Come here. Hello. Hello. We are going to live here. Where to take the suitcase? Artem. A serious man. Who is he? He's a relative of mine. A distant one. Aunt Falia. We need a small room. We'll pay. We really need it. These are for you, my favorite, with cabbage. Oh, thank you, dear. Also love it with cabbage. Hello, is this the laboratory? I wonder if you can do a DNA paternity test with the child's tooth. Okay, how much does it cost? Got it. Yes, Shosenka. Sir, he... What was that? Some girl took the phone. Who is it? Never mind. She's gone and she's not coming back. And now I am free as a bird. I missed you a lot. So, are we doing well? I like it here. Great. So now we'll put things in order and think about what to do with you. Here, take the towels. As you remember, there is a problem with hot water. It doesn't matter. The main thing is to have a roof over your heads. Aunt Folia, you are just saving us. It's nothing. Lika, don't you think I don't understand? I could see in your eyes that you were in trouble, so I have to help you. Thanks. Don't worry, I won't hold you back with the money. I'm working now. Supermarket basket for happiness. Have you heard of it? I heard something. So now you're selling happiness. But you're in trouble. Yeah. What will we do with the relative? And this is a tough question. Okay, settle in. Oh, what a shame. They left the boy on you and then ran away. I took him away myself, and I got attached to him. Yes, it's okay. We'll live in the dormitory for a while, and then I'll find something decent. What a situation. Ola Yevanivna. Maybe you could look after Artem until I get him accepted to the preschool. To work with him, I don't have time to do much with him. I will pay you, however, and not much for now, but... Why do I need your money? I have a very good pension, and Borya makes good money. Come on, I understand how little money he makes there. Attention, have you checked out our cooking department yet? The freshest salads. Listen, this new loader is pretty nice. Do you know if he is married? I wasn't curious, Katya. 
I don't know. And you're too late. He's already been targeted. Who is it? The new girl Berezovska from the dairy. They walk around all the time, whispering, I saw it myself. And Katya, he's nice, but then what? No future potential for her. He's a great option, but you'd better look for someone better and richer. To look for, where? The years fly by. Oh, look. Hi. Hi. When do you finish tonight? I'm staying till 8. Listen, I'm so sorry. I asked your mom to stay with Artem again. Come on, so Artem is with us. He is? Super, I'll play football with him in the yard tonight. Excuse me, where is the saddle starter? I can't find it. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I'll show you. Okay, me and Artem will be waiting for you. Bye. Bye. Let's go, look. She stuck to me, wouldn't let me pass. She was very annoying, she was a non-resident student. To be honest, I don't understand why I was with her. Did you leave her because of me? I have been planning to do this for a long time, but yesterday I finally decided that I had enough. I'm tired. Sorry, you should have seen the mess she made in my apartment. So you have a nice apartment? It's great, that's the point. I got it from my father. He worked for the ministry. And somehow it happened that I have been obsessed with cars since childhood and decided to connect my life with it. But this car show me is, I'm not there for long. It's a temporary place of refuge. So to say, I have very big ambitions for life, Shosenka. Hey, let's go to your place. I'll see where you live. Well, well there. Sorry. I'm telling you, it's a mess. I'll feel ashamed of myself. I was actually thinking of hiring a housemate. Let specially trained people do it. I'd rather come to you today. Sir, he... Who are you fooling? He has a housemaid. And his father is in the ministry. I'm not three years old. I'm not stupid. I understand something about people. I am sorry. I wanted to make impression on you. I can't work normally. I keep thinking about my Zuzhenka. Your... Do you have serious intentions? Why not? We've known each other for a few days. For me, this is enough to recognize my person. I did not recognize you. What's the problem? Here I am, look. You're happy, you have no problems at all. There is one. But I will solve it soon. But without you I am lonely. Unhappy. Yes. You definitely know how to talk. Women love that kind of guys. It's a pity that not all guys are so generous with compliments. Well, to say the least, I'm tired, I'm going home. Are you, are you resigning me now? What did I do wrong? Let me ask you. I'll call you tomorrow or next week. And don't see me off, sir, he. Wait. What about the car? Did you talk to your father? Will you take the car? This issue is still on hold, but, as they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. I see. Bye. Come on, Artem, hit it. Goal 4 0 in my favor. You certainly smashed me to pieces. You just got really dirty, right? But that's okay. Lika will probably be upset. We have problems with hot water in the dormitory. That's what that woman said. What dormitory? What woman? Lika and I moved in today. Okay, Artem, from now give me more details. Are you full? Well then, have some more compote. For ya.
You two sit down and eat. Artem, I turned on some cartoons for you, go watch. Mom, did you know that Licka moved to the dormitory? I did. Why didn't you tell me? Boria. Do you understand? What would you do? Licka's a good girl, a kind one. We'll help her as much as we can, but... But what? Borya, Lika took the child. She has a kind heart. But the boy has his own parents. It turns out that she kidnapped him, and that's a crime. Mom, what crime? She is trying to help the boy to save him. I don't know. I don't know, Borya. You shouldn't take on other people's problems. You have your own life. You have your status, your career. By the way, I thought you had a good salary, but don't you earn enough? Mom, I earn enough money. I just don't like to bring it up. No, no, me. Lika is here. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a football player. I'm going to train tomorrow. Lika, will you buy me a real uniform? Oh, yeah, but not today, okay? All the shops are closed. We are too late. Okay, tomorrow, I promised you to hit a lot of goals. But we'll see what happens. Antonova Street, 68, Student Dormitory. Lika, I'm not asking you anything. If you want to, you can tell me. Not today, okay? Do you love him? Whom? Artem's father. Or maybe not the father. Did he offend you? It's complicated, Borya. Let's go, buddy. Bye, Borya. Bye, Artem. What kind of stupid rules do you have? Can't you just tell me the results over the phone? This is confidential information. We have the right to provide it only in person face to face. Sorry, it is not my decision. Of course, you have the rules. Let's do it in person. I'm here. Could you please hurry up? I'm running late for work. Please don't be nervous. Just remind me of your name. Sahim Mikhailovic Maltsov. Yeah, documents, please. Is it necessary? Yes, it is. Passport or driver's license. How scrupulous you are. You're welcome. Yes. Please. And sign here, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. What a nervous guy. But nice. Hello? Sana, are you not too busy? No. Come to me, daughter. Okay, dad.
How are you, beautiful? You're not upset anymore. That's great. On my way to work, I stopped at a gas station and bought a caramel. As you like it. Thank you, Dad. You are the best man in the world. You can feel exactly what I really need right now. Yeah, sit down. Well, let's get down to business. So, have you read Boise's suggestions? I haven't gotten to it yet. That's a waste. Read it. There are a lot of good ideas. And by the way, the website can be launched now, that's why I invited you. Okay, announce a tender, find good developers, and don't delay. Can you do it by the end of the week? Is it urgent or what? Sana, is something wrong? No. Good. Then please call boys. Tell him to come to me when he's free. I need to consult him. Anna Ivanovna, may I have you for a second? Look. These are expired. How come? It can't be. Indeed. And here. It looks like the whole shipment is like that. Good for you to see that. Okay, let's get this stuff out of here quickly. Yeah. Off the shelves, Borea. Yeah. Help Berezovska to take the entire shipment off the shelves and out of the room, okay? Uh-huh, okay. So, imagine, someone could be poisoned. You are attentive. Anya. Close the supermarket. How come, Zena Viktorovna? Easy, put a sign on the door saying closed for technical reasons. I will have a meeting with the staff. What happened? If you mean the expired products, then I want no one but employees to be here in an hour. Is that clear? The coincidence is 99 and 9. Paternity is practically proven. Just a few clients in a whole day. It looks like we won't get a bonus this month, Surhi. It's still nothing. I'm leaving early today. Can you cover for me? Yeah, you owe me. Whatever you say, I'll do it. Wait. I think you had a client who made various documents. I had, why do you need him? If I didn't need to, I wouldn't have asked. A reliable person. Absolutely, but it's not for free, you know, only birds sing for free. Give me his number. I will refer to you. Aha, uh -huh, write it down. Now Zana is going to make a fuss. What's up? What's wrong? No one knows, but she's going to find the reason. She is good at this. A shortage, probably. They will look for the guilty. Do you often have such meetings? To be honest, it's the first time now. Everyone here. Great. I've decided that it's time to stop playing around and making a show. I'd like to introduce you to our new employee. Come on, Boris Petrovic, don't be shy. Introduce yourself to the team. Come, come here, come. It seems to me that you are making a show. Well, it's not clear. So Boris Petrovic Savitsky is our new commercial director. Damn you, director. 
He came to us straight from London after graduating from business school. Boris Petrovic has a lot of ideas to reorganize our work, for example, to introduce discounts on certain products on different days of the week. We have to introduce a single family shopping day, organize a children's room while parents are busy shopping, and much more, as far as I understand. So we have a lot of work to do, am I right, Boris Petrovic? That's right, Zana Viktorovna. That's great. And now I'd like to ask you to start your direct duties. Your office is on the second floor. Please do not forget that in the future. Sure. Thank you all. Let's get to work, Anya. Open the supermarket. Oh my, it's a trap. Lika, I'll explain everything to you. Zana, wait. Why did you do that? Dad asked you to come see him when you get free, so I set you free. Take this off at last. Hello, Raihari Pavlovich. My name is Say, and Maxim gave me your number. We work together at the car showroom. Suppose so. What's next? I have a personal request for you. It is quite delicate. Be more specific. I have a medical certificate, and I need to correct it. I really hope for your help, dear Raihari Pavlovich. Better not by phone. Yes, I understand. Attention, attention, have you checked out our cooking department yet? The freshest salads. Our store always offers only quality products. Only here you can find the freshest products. If you find fresher ones, we will refund your money. Katia. Where is Berezovska? I don't know, maybe she went to the restroom. Berezovska. Where have you been? Who will work for you? How? I felt sick and went out for a while, but everything is okay now. If you are sick, you should stay at home. So, we'll have to say goodbye to you. Zana Viktorovna, it only took a few minutes. I'm begging you, please. By the way, I checked the time. You were absent for 10 minutes. And I also noticed that you're interfering where you shouldn't be. You're making a queue. And I have to deal with complaints later. In short, write a report tomorrow or I will fire you according to the law. Zana Viktorovna, maybe you can make a compromise. She's new, after all, and... Do you want to be fired too? No, if so, I can write a report today. That's great. And do me a favor, leave a report at the secretary's office. I think he's still there. Have a great end of the day, everyone. What a bitch. Oh, listen, you can complain to Boris Petrovic. You and him. What? 
No, nothing. Artem, come on, don't get distracted. Stay focused, L and O. How will it be together? Liquor is here. <laughs> okay, put your shoes on. We have to go, here. Take it yourself. Hello. Hello. Artem, hurry up, come on. Why are you so slow? Come on, help me. Lick up. Are you okay? Everything is okay. I'm just tired. Ola Yevanivna, thank you very much. Ola Yevanivna, Artem, and I won't be coming to see you tomorrow. Why so? I have tomorrow off. Here, we'll go to the doctors and get the paperwork for the preschool. Well, it's a good thing. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Thank you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go. Dormitory number five. Mom, have Artem and Lika already left? They left long ago. Did you even look at your watch? Where were you so late? Kachanin detained me. We discussed different things. Didn't she say anything? No, she didn't say anything to me. You know, Borya, it seemed to me that she was very upset. Are you going to have dinner? No, Mommy. I won't. I'll go. Gloria, where are you going? Yes, Zana, anything urgent? Boria, I was thinking. I shouldn't have been so abrupt today. You should have told everyone yourself, of course. You were thinking? You know, in general, it's very useful to do this. I recommend that you think more often. Don't be angry. There's no need to quarrel. We have so much work to do together, and I feel so bad about this situation. Maybe you can come to me. I'll text you the address. My dad gave me some tasks about your proposals. That's it. Zana, better tomorrow. We will meet at work tomorrow. Bye. Excuse me, I'm looking for Lika Berezovska. Where can I find her? And who are you? Oh, I'm from work, a co-worker. From work, you say, why so late? I won't let you in, we have strict rules here. I understand, but I need to see her urgently. It involves her boy, Artem. What if they are sleeping? Why wake them up? Is there a fire or something? Consider it a fire. Okay. Let it be, co-worker. Thank you. Hello? Is Artem asleep? Can we talk? About what? Let's go out.
Lika, I didn't want to deceive you. It was stupid, I agree. But I did it all for experiment's sake. I wanted to understand what was happening in the supermarket from the inside. I wanted to feel it for myself. Did you feel it? I didn't even tell my mom. I wanted to tell you first. But Zana made a show of it today. My ideas were useful, right. I'm happy. But the main thing is realization. Right. I'll be off, Boris Petrovic. Excuse me, I have enough of my own problems. Let's solve all the problems together, Lika. Artem is about to wake up, and I'm not there. He'll be scared. Can we talk tomorrow? Is it common in London to enter without knocking? Why did you fire Berezovska? Who is she? Remind me. You know perfectly well who she is, the sales assistant from the dairy department. Is that a plain non sighty girl? She doesn't know how to work. And hiring and firing is my field of competence, so I don't have to report to you here. I see. I just want you to know that most of the ideas that Viktor Hryhorovich approved were her ideas. She is a very talented girl. Wow. How interesting. Then why are you so excited? So this is your, what's her name? Berezovska will find a new job very soon. If she's so talented, would you like some coffee? No, I wouldn't. You'd better fire your loaders. They steal from you. I know. If I fire these ones and hire others, what guarantees are there that the new ones won't steal even more? These ones steal at least a little. Boria, not everyone is as honest as you. And they make a good living too. Everyone does what they can. When you calm down, come back, we'll work. So you, Seri Mikhailovic, are filing a lawsuit against your ex-wife, Irina Stepanovna Meltseva? That's right. She lied to me. I honestly paid alimony for six years and the child is not mine. The DNA test certificate is attached. Yes, I see it. Considering this, I want to ask the court to charge her with all the money I paid and to annul the paternity. Did I say it right? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with law and lawsuits. Every citizen has the right to file an application with the court in a free form. Great. Okay, I will pass your documents to the judge. She will contact you and schedule a preliminary hearing. The defendant will also be invited. Meaning she's just not here. She flew away forever. Can we do it without her? What do you mean, forever? Is the child with you or with her? The child is now with a third person. I see. If the judge considers it necessary, she will contact the guardianship and custody service. Okay. Thank you very much. What 
You see, Artem, there is nothing scary. The doctors examined you, checked you, looked at your eyes and teeth, and wrote a certificate that you were healthy and you were afraid. I was not afraid of anything. Let's go play football with Boya. He promised. Artem, we need to think about something else now. How to get you into a preschool, and there you need a request from one of the parents. And football? I'll have to call your father. Nothing can be done. Now. Hello, three. I need your help. Well, not me, but Artem. I understand everything, but you, young lady, addressed me wrong. I did the test and it came out just as I expected. I am not the father of this boy. I have a certificate to prove it. Therefore, I would ask you not to bother me on this issue anymore, and on all other issues as well, bye. Wait, Sergei, what should I do? I don't know. You wanted to take him away, so now you have to sort it out. Is that it? Did you finish talking? Now football? Artem, wait with the football. So... Do you remember the address where Grandma lives? Lika, why do you ask? I don't want to go to her, you promised. Artem, listen. You need to be admitted to a preschool, and I need to find a job. We have to eat something and pay for the room somehow. I still owe money to my neighbor, do you understand? Could you please tell me your grandma's address? Cosmonaut Street. Good boy, let's go. It is here. Oh. He's here. Hello? Hello? And your grandma is gone. What do you mean? Well, she is gone. She's in the hospital. Her family brought her there. Taya asked her daughter to come. But Irka the bastard refused, saying she was busy. She told her to go to the doctor. And what about the doctor? He prescribed a pill and sent her home. And she was sick. I see. How long will she be there? But who knows? Health is no joke. She had a stroke or a heart attack? I can't remember exactly. Wow, yeah, things are bad. That's right. And who are you for her? Me. No one. Can I ask you a favor? I will write you my phone number and address. When Artem's grandma gets out of the hospital, you will tell her to contact me, okay? It's very important. Will you tell her? Won't you forget? I will definitely tell her. I won't forget. The dormitory? Is the boy with you? Yes. With me. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's go. My dad is waiting for us in half an hour. I contacted website developers. Here are some options, and here are others. Well, I think we can work with these. The terms are acceptable. So are the prices. And what about promotions? They always attract customers. Naturally, they'd rather have it for free. Better to have them delivered to their homes. Speaking of home, we need to call the car dealers about minibuses. I've told you before. No problem. I have some people there. There's a boyfriend. He wants to date me. Cool. So we have the discount in our pocket. Gloria, aren't you jealous at all? Excuse me? H, yes. Yes, Berezovska, come in. What's the matter? To take the documents. They said you had them. Yes. 
Yes. We did not work out. It's a pity it happens. Gloria, could you please find Berezovska's file in the top drawer? I've already picked it up from the HR department. Zana, maybe you'll change your mind. Why should I? I don't change my decisions. Lika, I'll be free after six. I doubt it. We still have a lot of work to do. I'll be free after six. Where will you be? Here you are, Berezovska. I'm not detaining you any longer. Are you with Artem? Wait for me outside. Berezovska, did they ever teach you how to say goodbye? See that button there, right? Press it in speed. Thank you so much. Let's go faster. Lika, wait. Hi, Artem. Are we playing football tonight? Yeah. There will be no football. There will be nothing at all. Don't come to us. And don't feel sorry for me either. We'll make it on our own. Let's go. Is it good? I was lucky today. I cleaned a woman's apartment and washed all her windows in three hours. Did you listen to Aunt Folia today, right? She won't complain. We should treat her to some strawberries, yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you Angelica Berezovska? So this is a juvenile, Artem Serhayovic Meltsov, and who are you, actually? Representatives of the Family and Children's Service, do you want to see my ID? Could you explain to us, young lady, on what grounds does a stranger's child live with you? You see, the thing is that his mother went abroad and got married there, and his father, he, how can I say it? Well, he isn't really a father, and while his grandmother is in the hospital, I look after him. I even have his documents. I see. Get the boy ready. What does it mean? Where to? He will come with us, first to the distribution center. Then we will place the boy in an orphanage. A minor child was left without family care. This means there is a threat to his life or health. What threat to life? Why do you need to send him to an orphanage? It's because his mother, Meltseva Irina Stepanina, sent a notarized renunciation of her son. The father, as you said, disputes his biological paternity. The documents are now in court, under review. What about his grandmother? He has his own grandmother. An elderly woman after a stroke. Unfortunately, she is not able to be his custodian. Lika, who are these ladies? Tell them, are we moving? It's not bad at our orphanage. Boy. We have toys, different activities, you will make friends. Is Lika going with us too? No, Lika will stay here. I don't want to go without Lika. Lika can visit you if she wants to. Get the child ready. What are you waiting for? The car is ready. Hey, I'm not letting him go anywhere. You have no right. Just the opposite. Young lady, our service, unlike you, has all the rights. And we protect the interests of the child above all. Lika, who are these ladies? Tell them to go away. Do you want us to call the police? Let's go. Let go, let me go. No, let's go, let's go. How will I find out the address where Artem will be? If you want to find out, you will. No one is going to hide anything from you. Come to the children's service. They will inform you. Come on, let's go. You asshole, you're trying to bite me. What a wild child. He is not wild. Licker, don't give me away. I don't want to. I will find you. I promise. I love you very much. Let's go. Come on. Licker, why are you giving giving me away. Don't you need me anymore? Of course I need you. I'll take you back, definitely. Are they taking away your boy? Rascals. You said he was your relative. Basket for Happiness, Episode 4.
Well, Boys Petrovic, the website is launched from the very first day we started receiving online orders. I just didn't expect it. Congratulations. You have passed your testing period. Go ahead and bring your innovative ideas to life. Thank you, Victor Fryhorovic. Boria, wait. Oh, here it is. My birthday is coming up on Friday. Wow. Yeah, I decided to invite you. Let's sit and drink for my health, so to say. What do you think? I'm all for it. Great, but I suggest celebrating not at my place, but at Zonas. You see, I'm always renovating. I thought I could finish in time, but you know, repairs are like a catastrophe. So we'll go right after work, right? It's a deal. Can I go now? Yes, and Borea, my head is so messed up, I forgot the most important thing. I ordered to raise your salary by 30%. Wow, why such generosity? You deserve it. Thank you. As far as I remember, Daddy, your birthday is in winter. You remember correctly, darling, beep. I'm just tired of watching my daughter chasing after that guy. So I decided to help. In what way? Sana, you are a grown-up girl, I'll stop. And you continue. Take the lead yourself, that's it. Savitsky is a promising guy. He's got character and guts. Yes. But unbreakable. It's okay. Order food from a nice restaurant. I'll provide the alcohol. We have to meet our guests properly, so let's get to it. Yes, 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 yes. Angelica, I keep telling you, there is no way you can adopt the boy. And no arguments from you will help. What about custody? Listen, I found out that a custodian can be not only a direct relative, but also a completely stranger. Yes, it is possible. I do not argue, but you have neither your own home nor a job. How are you going to provide the boy with a proper upbringing? This is ridiculous. No one will trust you, the child. Don't you realize that? I'll get a job. I'm about to graduate from the institute. I'll have my degree soon. Well, listen, what am I supposed to do? You listen to me. I personally have nothing against you, but I am not the only one who solves the issue of custody. There is a commission of competent employees. So Artem can be adopted by complete strangers? Of course. And it will only be good for him. Just think about it. Good loving parents. A prosperous family. The best upbringing, believe me, we carefully select candidates. Meanwhile, you can visit the boy. I have given you the address. Now excuse me. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, thank you. You are welcome. All the best. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. You'll swallow your tongue. It's delicious. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Doesn't anyone offend you here? No, they only make me sleep during the day. It's not a big deal. And what's with a bruise on your arm? Oh, I fell down. It didn't hurt at all, honestly. You are amazing. Will you come again? Of course I will, my dear. I will be sitting on the window and waiting. I love you. I love you too. <clears throat> What's up? 
Shashenka, where did you disappear? You don't call, you don't text, you've completely forgotten me. I am suffering. I can say, I don't sleep at night. And you sleep, Serhi. Good sleep helps the nervous system. I'll take that into consideration. So, what are your plans for tonight? I'm not far from your house, so I can drop by. You can, but I'm not there. When will you be back? I'll wait. I don't know. I don't know anything. Bye. Shuza. Here we are. Come in. Come in. Good evening, Zana Viktorovna. This is for you. Thank you, Boris Petrovic. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hi, well. Dormitory number five. Artem was very happy that I visited him. He did not want to let me go. He looks good. Yes, he's just very sad. But it's clear he is a child. After all, how do you feed them? He seems to be well. I brought him some of his favorite candy and fruit. I gave him your pies. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are there many children? Yes, quite enough. <sighs> Some children even call nannies and teachers mothers. Yes, it's hard to watch. Sana, the food was just perfect. Yes, it's true. Well, my dearest, let's continue to celebrate. Oh, yeah. Daddy, cheers for you. Thank you, my dear. It is a great honor for me to work with a person like you, Viktor Fryhorovic. I wish you to stay as cheerful as you are, and I wish you strength for further commercial success. Thank you, boys. I appreciate it. I'll need the strength. Cheers, mm. I want to share an idea with you, as you see. I'm not a young man anymore. Dad. Don't interrupt me, let me tell you, so this is what I am thinking. Maybe it's time for me to retire, huh? I'm tired. I'm really going to grow strawberries, apples, tomatoes in my garden. I will hand over the business to younger people. Let them take the wheel of power into their hands. What do you think, boys? Viktor Fryhorovic, I have no right to advise you on this matter, but if you make such a radical decision, I think Zana Viktorovna will cope perfectly well. No, I don't agree. Such a load of responsibility on fragile ladies' shoulders. Daddy, don't you love me? What are you talking about? What are you? I love you. I love you very much, and that's why I want a faithful and reliable friend to be with you. A person who will not only be a good partner for you, but also a very close person. Oh, Boya, why are you looking at your watch? Are you in a hurry? I promised mom not to stay out late. <laughs> Parents live for worrying about their children. You call her, say you're busy, and so on. No, I'm going to go now. Thank you very much, Zana. Everything was delicious. Thank you. Boria, wait, 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 what about the apartment? You haven't even seen Zona's apartment. It's true, Zona, show him. I want to hear your expert opinion. Zona made the design herself, so please, come on, Zana. Let's go. Show him, come on, come on.
And this is my bedroom. Well, it's okay to live. Come to me. Was that also part of the tour? Ah, uh, come on. Don't be like that, relax. I've liked you since high school. And all of this can be ours, the money, the apartment, the business. And we can get married, and I'll give you children. Smart, beautiful children. And they will not be poor either. It's attractive, Zana Viktorovna. Come here. Kiss me. The tour is over. The guide was a little miscalculating. Why, what's wrong? Am I not good enough for you? Or do you like colorless girls with children? Does it excite you? Stop it, Zana. You know. Think what you want. But that's stupid. Think about how much you get with me. Did they teach you math in London? Gloria. Idiot. Lika, Lika, hello? Hi, H, and you? Here I am. And I work here. Yes, I left basket, you know, I got fed up with Sana and her claims and her absurd schedule. So I freaked out, and now I'm here, but I don't regret it. The salary here is the same plus tips. Where are you? Nowhere yet. I see. But you really don't need it. You have Savitsky. I don't have any Savitsky. The last time I saw him was when I was taking my documents. And I don't want to see him, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's strange. He seems to be such a nice guy, and he's so into you. Hey, stop it, okay? Sorry. Can I ask you to get me some water? Sure, it's very hot. Just a second. Here you are. Thank you. Listen, we have a vacancy here. Our star is going on maternity leave. If you come up to the director right now, while he's still there, you have great chances. Just in case, I didn't tell you anything, come on. Thank you, Kadia. Where should I go? I'll show you, come on. Thanks. That guy in the suit. Thanks. Sit down, boys Petrovic. Let's have a manly talk. What is this? Are my apples and tomatoes now being postponed? I don't quite understand. You understand everything? Borea Zenka, my daughter, she's a good girl. Believe me, she just needs a real man to hold her back on the curves. You see, she never was denied anything. Her mother raised her that way. If you want a full coat, can you go a trip to the seaside, please? We bought an apartment in the city center, and then she wanted you, and as they say, it turned into a bummer. I can write a letter of resignation. Wow, what a quick one. Here, write a letter of resignation. What am I supposed to do? You're perfect for me as a commercial director. Moreover, to be honest, I wanted to expand your department. What a dilemma. You're giving me a choice.
The world has not ended on me, Viktor Fryhorovic. Although I like my job, it's an opportunity to move up in the business. By the way, my old friend from the ministry called me today. He said that the other day he had visited our basket and saw shelves with suspended goods, the ones you suggested. So, he says that at the board, at the board, imagine, he's going to talk about it so that our experience can be shared in the city. That's it. He praised you. He praised you. That's great, Viktor Fryhorovic. Can I go? You can. You're stubborn, sir, he. That's the way it is, Sosenka. How about meeting tonight? Or is it I don't know again? My head is splitting. Dear, take a pill and we'll go to a restaurant tonight. Then I promise you an unforgettable night, you'll enjoy it. It won't help. I will do my best to help. I suggest sitting on the terrace, why sweat indoors? I don't mind. Would you like another drink? Would you like a dark, unfiltered, zero five beer? Yes. Wait 15 or 20 minutes. I'll fetch it. Excuse me. Yes. Can I make an order, please? Just a minute. Do you like it? It is nice. Great. Look who it there, familiar faces, the twelfth table. How do you know him? Who, ma'am? I said, the twelfth, it's Sana there, the snake is here. I don't want to serve them, I can't help it. I'm going to say something nasty. Well, then I will. Really, Lika? Thank you. I'll owe you. Good evening, Zena Viktorovna. Sari Mikhailovic. What would you like for dinner? May I come in? Sure. Gloria, why don't you tell me about the birthday party? But there was nothing special about it. Uh, how are things at work? It's okay. You are not talkative. How is Anna? Mom, please. Gloria, you know? I met an old friend of mine, and she told me that her daughter recently had graduated from the conservatory, a very talented girl. Mom, I'm begging you, please stop matchmaking for me. I'm able to find a person with whom I will live my life, Mom. By the way, my realtor has found a few options for me, so I'll be moving soon.
How do you know Berezovska? We met several times. This Liga is everywhere. I kicked her out, but she's already settled in here. Why are you looking at me like that, Suri? I had her in my basket for a couple of days, and then she came to work with a child, can you imagine? No, in general, she is an impudent, irresponsible person. I don't keep such employees. Do you work at the basket for happiness? I do. What's the big deal? My dad owns the business, and I'm the HR director. Enjoy the meal. You've already ruined my appetite. Don't expect a tip. You have a nice companion, three. There's not much to say. I forgot to ask you. Go to work now. I'll go, don't worry. But since we're in this situation, can I ask you something? I forgot my things at your place. There's a blue dress and a raincoat in the closet. Do you mind if I take them, huh? Oh, wait. I forgot. I have my own key, okay? I'll leave it on the bedside table and lock it from the inside. Don't worry. Go away, please. Why don't you ask anything about Artem, huh? He was taken away from me, so he, he lives in an orphanage now. I don't care, listen, let's go. I'm sorry for bringing you here. I didn't know. No, darling. You can stay. Don't call me anymore, ever. She's a... Can you disappear from my life? Yes, there is a special room for flowers. Aha, uh -huh, what can you offer? Okay, but then you think about it and call me Zana. How are you feeling? As if you were worried. Don't even wait, Boris Petrovic. Zana, let's agree that we forget everything and continue to work. Please find me an experienced florist or let the suppliers appoint their own. You're a workaholic, Boria. By the way, you look bad. Have you tried to rest? No time, Zana Viktorovna, no time. It's a waste. I visited a restaurant yesterday and saw your Berezovska. She became a waitress, didn't you know? She served me. So sweet. I also heard from accidentally that her child had been taken away to an orphanage. No wonder, with a mother like that. Lika. Will you be long? I'll wait for you. Why? Because... Because I will wait. When I visited Artem, he said that he was not abused. In general, you know, the orphanage is not bad. I didn't even expect it. The teachers are polite. They obviously love the children. I don't understand how a mother can give up her child. I don't know. People are different. They won't give me custody, and I've already tried everything. They say that without a job and my own place to live, I have no chance at all. But I found a job since then, so I have 50% more chances now. It depends. Yes. I am probably a very desperate optimist. Lika, let's visit Artem together. No need. I can do it myself. But why yourself? You're all by yourself. My mother taught me to deal with all problems by myself and not to put them on other people. Where's your mom? And she was gone long ago. If she were here, it would be much easier. When our parents are alive, we are still children. And when they die, we become adults. 
Victoria take care of your mom? Thank God. Gloria, why are you so late? And your phone is out of reach. Mom, here are flowers for you. For me? But why? Mom, I'm sorry, I, I can be really unbearable, really. I'll never leave you. My dear. I love you. Well, it's okay. Mom, will you feed me? Of course. <laughs> of course I will. Get ready. Not a bad machine. Do you think it would suit me? Keep your mouth shut. Let's go to work. Hello, Suzenka. Sorry, forget my number. You're free forever. Darling, do not rush. Take a minute. Go outside and see what I bought for us. You won't regret it. Okay, wait, but if I'm disappointed, don't complain. No way. The ball? The ball, pass it to me, Artem, I'm open. Boria, wow, you came to me? <laughs> of course I did, look, I brought you some presents, my hands are falling off. All for him. This is my Boria, I found him first. So what if you're the first, some lady took you for a walk last week. But no one ever comes to see me, it's not fair. Okay, okay guys, calm down, there's no need to divide me up, I am enough for everyone. I don't understand, why don't you invite me to play football, Arden? Come against me, I promised you a lot of goals. Sure you did, how do you divide this up so that there is enough for everyone? And we'll share this somehow, I'll think of something, come on, let's play football. Where is this luxury from? I told you, I bought it. Wow, and how much does it cost? A lot. It's just that our salon employees have a good discount and an interest-free loan. And now we come to the main news of the day. I have been appointed site director. This morning, I didn't expect it myself. So now it's easy for me to pay off the loan for this machine like this. I really want to believe, Serhi, that you're not fooling around again. Shuza. Ah, your phone is ringing. Hello, Serhi, are you crazy? Where are you? The boss is here, he's freaking out. You took the white car, it's on sale. Hey, what's the big deal? I'll be there soon. The activists, damn them, they can't decide anything without me, listen. Do you have your passport with you? Let's say. Let's, let's go crazy and submit an application. Now we can get married within 24 hours. Or are you scared? I agree. Or he. Hush, 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 hush. Damn. Idiot. It doesn't cost much for our supermarket, and it will make your children happy, and it will be a lifelong memory. Oh, we're here, basket for happiness. We have to justify our name somehow. 
I don't even know what to say. But we certainly have help from various organizations and foundations. But no one has offered anything like this. Tell me honestly, what is your interest? Olga Vitalievna, nothing, really. Do you think it never happens? I don't know. Yeah. It was a nice car. Have you had enough, sir? E? What the hell was that for? Damn it, did I do it on purpose? I see. Why did you take the car at all, were you thinking? I see. I always knew that girls would never do you any good. What now? The boss was yelling so loudly, did he fire you? He said that if I didn't compensate him, he would inform the police. You'll have to work for it for the rest of your life. Are you freaking serious? Well, buddy, next time, think with your head, not with something else. She's a darling. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'll call. Hello, Olga Vitalievna. Oh, you again. I brought an employment certificate here. Yes, and I will try to rent a normal accommodation soon, so that everything is official. I'll do my best as soon as possible. Okay. Can I go for a walk with Artem today? He's not here. They went to the city. On a tour? Well, no, you could say that, but our children were invited to the supermarket basket for happiness. Do you know it? They will choose gifts for themselves. And who invited them? Commercial director. Boris Petrovich Savitsky. He even sent a bus to pick up the kids. So your Artem will get something too. Wow, there are so many things here. That's not all. There are two more rooms around the corner. I know everything here. My liquor used to work here. So, kids, here's the plan. You take as much as you can fit in your baskets. Here we have toys. And the candy is a little further. What are your wishes? Can I have a doll and makeup? What kind of cosmetics? You can get anything. Come on. Who are these children? As I understand it, from an orphanage. Wow, it's a car with a remote control, look. Yeah, and look, it's really cool. Wow. Whoa. Okay, stop, stop. What a nice airplane. Look, a police car, oh look. See how happy they are. Thank you. Such event is very important. Artem, what's this? Look at this. Look, look how cool it is. Anya. What's going on here? Boris Petrovich brought them in and told them to take whatever they wanted. By the way, I wanted to ask how I was supposed to get it through the cash desk. Yes. Dad. Wait. Well, well, how much? All right. Then take it, yes. 
Do you know what your favorite commercial director does? He's running things. What? He brought some children from the street and is giving them goods. I'm shocked. Who will pay for all this? Is this an unprecedented generosity event? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart. Kids, let's get in. It's time to go. You'll look at each other's presents later. Boys, Petrovic, perhaps you can explain what it was. Viktor Hryhorovic. This is a day of happiness for those who rarely see it. Don't worry about money. I'll pay for everything. Sorry. Where is Sari Mikhailovic's office? What Sari Mikhailovic? Your director, new, newly appointed. You are mistaken, young lady. We have no newly appointed director, Sari Mikhailovic, but there was a salesman, Sari Maltsev. I don't know his middle name, though. He was recently fired. He broke the car. Do you want to buy a car? I can help you. You're welcome. My pleasure. Recording. So, Viktor Hryhorovic, after your yesterday's event with the children from the orphanage, I would like to know how often you plan to organize such social events. The whole city is buzzing. Social media. Actually, it's not really my idea. It's a suggestion from our new commercial director who, by the way, recently graduated from London Business School. In fact, we are taking over the Western experience. Here, we will hold events often now, yes, especially if the city is buzzing. Well... Anna Ivanovna, open another cash register. You see, there are so many people here today. Yes, I did not expect such a full house. Usually, Monday is a dead day. I'm going to call the girls. So, boys, Petrovic, congratulations. You're a star now, so come to my office for an interview. Reporters are waiting for you. An interview? Why? Because you will tell them how you got all these ideas. Seriously, well done, really. I'm, I'm happy, so go ahead, expand your commercial department. Take an assistant if you need to. It's worth it, go for it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Good evening. Good evening. I don't need a menu, but please bring two teas and two cakes, and please call Lika. Okay, Boris Petrovic. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Take a seat. I can't sit next to clients at the table. Sit down. You don't work here anymore. What do you mean? Take a seat. Why? Tomorrow you're coming back to Basket for Happiness. You'll be my assistant in marketing. Do you know what it is? Lika, why are you silent? I'm afraid Zana Viktorovna will not be happy. I'll take care of it. Your order, please. Two cakes and two teas. Anything else? Bring us two glasses of wine, please. We seem to have something to celebrate. Shashenka, sorry for not taking your calls. I've been busy, you know. And this stupid car. You have no idea, Sari Mikhailovic, how pleasant it is to see you again. Really? Sari, you are incorrigible. 
I am. Get out of here before I call security. And if you approach me again, they'll throw you down the stairs. If not me, then someone else. Maybe you'll hit your head and wise up. Shiza, I am. I am busy. It won't take long. Here are Leica's papers. Register her as my assistant starting tomorrow. I am rushing. Don't rush too far, Zana Viktorovna. It's Katunin's order. Do you know him? I'm so sick of you all. Let's get to work. Hello, Mouts of Sahih Mikhailovi? Yes. Captain Romanenko, you must come with us. What is it really about? It is about you are detained for forging documents submitted to the court. Get ready. Here, everything is as you want it. Yeah, you can't imagine how many ideas I have. Now I can imagine. You are very beautiful. Will you let me out of work early today? As soon as I compliment a girl, she immediately starts using it. I just want to visit Artem today. I miss him so much. I can't let go tonight. My mom invited you to her birthday party. Seriously? I'd love to. You have a wonderful mom. Then I'll go tomorrow. Will you let me go? And tomorrow, well, we'll look at your behavior and decide. Ola Yevanivna. Mom. Hello. We congratulate you. We wish you long life and good health. Thank you. Thank you. And I will really need my health to raise my own grandchildren. By the way, Lika, Mom and I have a surprise for you. Are you ready? For what? Come on. Lika! Artem, my dear. Honey, why are you here? Boya took me home forever. We formalized custody. I hope you don't mind. Of course I do not. Honey. Come to me. Come here. Eventually, we can formalize an adoption, but we will need a full-fledged family. What do you think, Lika? I want you to become my wife and we will raise Artem together. Do you agree? Yes, yes, she agrees. Lika agree. Yes, I agree. Hooray! Let's go find a vase and put some flowers in it. Come on, my dear. Let's go quickly. Let's hurry up. 